I'm just about to reveal how you can make money online by selling stock footage with the help of artificial intelligence, so let's get started. And the very first website I need you to connect to is called iStockPhoto.com. Now, this is a place where people can connect and search for millions of premium quality stock images and videos. They've also got illustrations and vectors and whatnot, but we're gonna keep things simple. Now, keep in mind that this is a premium service, which means that it's not free. It does have a free trial where you can download a few pictures for free, 10 images to be more precise size but then you would have to pay whenever you want to download a new piece of content on your device. The thing about iStock Photo and other websites like Shutterstock is that once you download that picture, once you pay for the license to use it, you can use it for commercial purposes. I could use that footage in my YouTube videos without any sort of issues. You basically get past the copyright protection. You have the license to reuse it. In comparison, if I search for a random topic on Google, let's just say beautiful sunset, and I go over to the images section, I cannot just download and reuse these pictures. Why is that? Because images may be subject to copyright. You don't have the license to reuse them. It is that simple. And so here's the business model behind iStockPhoto.com and Shutterstock. They're basically crowdsourcing platforms where regular people like you and me, who are somewhat passionate about photography, can upload high quality pictures and videos. And whenever somebody else downloads your picture, you will get compensated, right? You get to produce high quality images and videos for customers worldwide. You submit your content and upload it onto their platform and you will get paid whenever somebody else downloads one of your images or videos. And it works in the same way on both Shutterstock, iStock Photo, and all the other similar websites. Now, just to help you put things in perspective, Shutterstock.com has actually paid out more than a billion dollars to their contributors over the years. And so there's absolutely no doubt about it. There is a lot of money on the table and we're gonna grab a big piece of that pie using artificial intelligence to our advantage. You will absolutely love this method. Not only is it really creative and fun, but you can also make some decent amounts of money if you're doing the right things. The first thing you wanna do is become a so-called contributor on iStock Photo. And you do that by heading over to gettyimages.com. If you're interested in selling your work, all you gotta do is send in your application. Now. It might take you a short while to fill out that application, but it's entirely worth it. You download the app, upload your content, and we're talking about three to six samples just to show people that you know what you're doing. They will get reviewed, and if the quality matches what they are looking for, you will get an invitation, and you can accept that on your email. From that point onwards, a world of different opportunities opens up to you because you can upload hundreds or thousands of pictures onto iStock Photo, for other people to download. And the main advantage that we have, and this is a major competitive advantage, is that we're gonna use artificial intelligence whereas other people are just taking the pictures themselves. That means you don't need to purchase any expensive cameras and you can get some insanely good results using AI. Now, just in case you're wondering whether or not that is legal or that is accepted, take a look at this. You can sell AI generated images provided that there's no restrictions on doing so with the AI generation tool you're using. So as long as you're a paid user of Mid Journey or DALI, which are two of the most popular options, then you're free to sell those generations. Now, don't get scared of this phrase right here, a paid user. You don't have to spend a fortune on it. The Mid Journey subscription will only cost you $10 a month and there's a free trial that you can use without even entering in your credit card credentials, right? So you can use it for free and if it works out, you can renew that subscription for $10 a month, which is a no brainer. But now I want this video to be 100% transparent. For that reason, I'm just gonna run a test right now. I'm gonna search for something very random, as random as possible. Just connect you to iStockPhoto.com and I'm gonna type in kangaroo boxer, or let's go for businessman in pajamas. Well, there you have it. We've just found a bunch of different pictures. But look at this. If you wanted to purchase this specific picture, you would have to pay 24 euro for it or get a monthly subscription on iStockPhoto photo which is what most people do actually we can take a look at the plans and prices to get a better understanding the basic package which will give you 10 monthly downloads will cost you 29 dollars a month 2.9 dollars per download but don't worry about it we are not here to download other people's footage we are here to upload pictures ourselves what i want you to point out is that you can find results on iStock photo even if you type in some very random things and so recreating this picture right here would be extremely difficult i mean you 
you will need to get someone to get dressed in pajamas, have a laptop, and be willing to take the photo and sell it online. And then you will need to have a high quality camera in order to take that picture. So it's a lengthy, boring process that takes a lot of effort. But we can actually replicate it using midjourney.com. And this is the AI powered tool that's gonna make us money. Once you've connected to the website, you wanna join the beta. That will allow you to join their Discord server, which is huge. They've got millions upon millions of users. And the tool is surprisingly user friendly. And that's the whole point about it. They have specifically intentionally made their tool as user friendly as possible to give the average Joe a good chance of using it and getting good results. Now, if you go over to the home section on their Discord server, you're gonna find some insanely good results here. I mean, the fact that these pictures are generated by AI using some instructions and a few different parameters is insane. If you're an artist, this is literally scary. The things that AI can do are amazing. But I gotta tell you, you're not gonna get a result that looks like that unless you take some time to really understand how Midjourney works in terms of the use of parameters and keywords. In other words, anyone can use Midjourney, but not anyone can get the result that looks that spectacular. However, even with a very basic instructions line, you can still get a pretty good result. Let me show you. What I'm gonna do is go over to one of the newcomer rooms. I'm just gonna pick one at random. And now I'm gonna type in slash imagine. And this is where you get to enter in your picture description. In our case, it will be a businessman in pajamas. Again, we wanna make it as random as possible just to see what Midjourney is capable of. However, if you wanna get a good result, there are some other things you need to add such as ultra details, hyper realistic. These are just a bunch of keywords that will help you manipulate the result. And as a pro tip here, just look at what other people are doing. If you're starting out, that should be good enough. However, for the long run, if you're serious about this process and you genuinely want to make money uploading stock footage on iStock Photo and Shutterstock, you want to take your time to really understand how Midjourney works and how you can make use of all of those parameters in order to get the best result possible. Also, something really impressive here is the the fact that you can actually see what people are generating in real time and you can even take some inspiration from other people here by the way it shouldn't take longer than 60 seconds to get your result which is extremely fast if you ask me and midjourney has started working on it right away and i can already tell these pictures will look amazing there you have it we just have four different variations and as you can spot it actually took my instructions and it executed and i personally love this one so what i'm gonna do is just pick the third version here it's V3 and I'm gonna get another four variations for it. And you can keep on doing that. You can save a specific picture and then ask Midjourney to customize it even further until you're satisfied with your final result. That's what people are doing here. Just sending in their own pictures and then asking Midjourney to customize them. You're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this tool, but most significantly, it does what you ask it to do. Needless to say, the next thing you wanna do is head back over to Getty Images to your application form and upload those three to six samples. But you want to make sure that they look amazing, right? Based on on the images you submit in your application, they will determine whether or not they accept you. So you wanna spend a little bit of time, don't rush it, take your time and upload the best designs you can get. Similarly, you can do the same exact thing on Shutterstock. You can head over to submit.shutterstock.com, become a contributor and you will get paid whenever other people download your designs. But here's a bonus for you. As people say, the riches are in the niches. So what you wanna do if you wanna stand out from the crowd is find very specific topics, really niche down. But sometimes it can be pretty difficult, pretty tricky to find topics where the competition is low, but they are in demand. It's not an easy thing to do. And so here's the best shortcut I've come across. What you want to do is head over to Shutterstock and take a look at their shot list. This is a short list of some of the most requested ideas in a specific month. For instance, in January, people will be searching for Black History Month, coding related pictures, minimalist illustrations, or footage regarding raising teenagers. For instance, what I'm going to do right now is just run a quick experiment. Let's ask Midjourney for some coding related footage. How about this? This one coders collaborating let's see them in office environments huddled at large screens and writing new code together let's copy that i've just sent you the instructions and now i'll be waiting for the result now one thing you're gonna notice is that a lot of people are sending instructions as we speak right 
so it will be a little bit tricky to follow your prompt sometimes. But as far as I know, you can also create a new Discord server and use Midjourney in that server. So you can avoid the busyness of this one. In the meantime, Midjourney has just started working on our pictures and they are coming together as we speak. And there you have them. And I gotta tell you, these do not look bad. They look genuinely good. And so you've got all the resources you need to start selling stock footage on all of these websites by making use of AI. That's it for now and thanks for watching.